Isn't hidden love so exciting? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV couples with a secretive relationship. For this list, we're looking at TV couples who had to keep their relationships under wraps. No more secrets. Except, of course. Yes, no, obviously. I mean, we don't, you know, just until. Number 10, Charles Brooks and Liza Miller, Younger. The entire premise of the show Younger, starring Sutton Foster, is based on a secret. 40-year-old Liza Miller wants to succeed in the world of publishing, so she lies about her age, claiming to be younger in order to get a job. She secures a position at Empirical Press, where her boss and the head of the company is Charles Brooks. I don't know. Just think about it. While you're at it, think about this. But Liza ended up having to keep another secret when she started having a complicated relationship with Charles. Because of their workplace dynamic, they couldn't let anyone else on the team know. But of course, it didn't stay that way for long. Is it wrong of me to say that a part of me just really misses you there? Yeah, I really miss being there too. But it's okay, because I did it for the woman I love. Number nine, Jackie Burkhart and Stephen Hyde, That 70s Show. Oh, good God. <laughs> You kids switch partners more than square dancers. There was a lot of dating going on among the friends on That 70s Show, so it was inevitable that Jackie and Hyde would get together at some point, even if at first it seemed like they truly hated each other. Yo, Steven, it was really nice of you to get that ticket for Eric. This usually works a whole lot better when you don't talk. While there was a lot of build-up to their dynamic changing, they only actually became a couple in the show's fifth season. After that, the pairing amassed a huge fan base, with thousands of fanfiction stories about them being published online. Their friends didn't approve of their relationship, so at various points throughout the show, they kept the entire thing a secret. I knew it was a mistake hooking up with Jack, and I did it anyway. You know why? Because she makes you stupid. I bet Kelsey was composing symphonies before her. Number 8, Jamie and Cersei Lannister, Game of Thrones. Well, we don't have to tell you why this one was a secret. Jamie and Cersei are brother and sister, twins in fact, and the fact that they're also in love and sleeping together is taboo even in the messed up world of Game of Thrones. The things I do for love. When Cersei was married to King Robert Baratheon, she in fact had her brother Jamie sire all of her three children, which caused many complications down the line in terms of who the true heir to the Iron Throne was. Despite how seriously weird this pairing was, they definitely had their moments. In a much more wholesome relationship, Lord Renly Baratheon and Sir Loras Tyrell also had to keep their relationship hidden because they were gay. Do you know who should be king? Be serious. I am. My father could be your bank. I've never fought in a war before, but I'd fight for you. Number 7, June Osborne and Nick Blaine, The Handmaid's Tale. In the dystopian world of Gilead, June works as a handmaid and is known as Offred for the first two seasons, being assigned to Commander Fred Waterford. Where are we going? You don't want me to spoil the surprise, do you? Her role is to bear his children because his wife is unable to, and June has very few rights of her own. Once a month, Rita waits outside while I shave my legs in the tub. We're not to be trusted with razors, not for longer than necessary. Having a romantic or sexual relationship with another man is strictly forbidden, and the punishment is severe. So when she develops an intimate rapport with Nick, a driver working for the commander who's also an eye for Gilead, the stakes are high. I wish I should have... I should have driven away with you. The show and this world are full of darkness, but June and Nick's relationship serves as one of the only bright points in the narrative. Number 6, Ian Gallagher and Mickey Milkovich, Shameless. There have been lots of LGBTQ relationships on TV in recent years, but there aren't any like this one. On Shameless, Ian and Mickey each start out as closeted teens, and throughout the many seasons of the show, grow and develop both together and apart. Their relationship is certainly a messy one, and calling it dysfunctional would be a major understatement. I don't have any interest in being a mistress anymore. Jesus Christ, when did you get so dramatic? It's largely kept a secret because, for a while, the fact that they're both gay isn't public knowledge. Is it true? Getting married? So, uh, who is it? Is it, uh, Angie Zago or some other piece of trash you screw so you can pretend I don't matter to you? But there's also the fact that when they first hook up, Ian was already in the midst of an affair with a married man who also happened to be his employer. Despite all the ups and downs, we can't help but root for these two to work it out. You love me. Number 5, Barney Stinson and Robin Trubatsky, How I Met Your Mother. 
On How I Met Your Mother, Barney and Robin's relationship is a pretty divisive one among fans. They watched it over and over that night until finally, they stopped watching. While some thought they were meant to be together, others were certain that Robin belonged with someone else. Look, April, I'm not a New York Yankee. Any other night, I would probably try to convince you that I am, but I'm not. I'm just some guy who's in love with the girl that just left. And she's never gonna feel the same way. Their relationship went through many different iterations, and at one point between seasons four and five, they were fully sleeping together but keeping it a secret from everyone else. They claimed that they didn't want their friends to know because they knew they'd be forced to define their relationship, but in reality, they just had fun sneaking around. And hey, who can blame them? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! You guys are boyfriend and girlfriend. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Whoa, 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 wait, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Number four, Dwight Schrute and Angela Martin, The Office. The greatest couple in the history of The Office is of course Pam and Jim, who did keep their relationship a secret for a time. But while they may be less at the forefront of the narrative, Dwight and Angela hid their love for each other for almost their entire partnership. Have you heard anything about any secret office romances? Or? The viewer and the documentary makers first realized that the two are together midway through season two. And while people do slowly find out what's going on between them, Angela always has a hard time acknowledging her feelings, especially after Dwight kills her beloved cat. I took care of that cat the best way I knew how. But they work it out in the end, with the series concluding with their marriage. I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> Number three, Buffy Summers and Spike, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy is no stranger to dating supernatural beings. Much of the show revolves around her relationship with Angel, who is one of the vampires that she's supposed to slay. Well, I guess that qualifies as happy to see me. The thing is though, Angel has a soul, so that makes the whole thing sort of okay. What's definitely taboo is her hooking up with Spike, the bad boy vampire who is a straight up villain in the earlier seasons, but who eventually joins the Scooby gang. I give my love to my friends. You have to take care of them now. Their relationship is passionate and surprises them both, with Buffy only admitting she loves Spike at the very end. I love you. No, you don't. But thanks for saying it. Number two, Leslie Knope and Ben Wyatt, Parks and Recreation. One of the best couples in sitcom history started their relationship in secret. Leslie and Ben from Parks and Rec worked together and had a strict rule from Chris that people in their position could not enter a relationship with each other. It's so obvious you're dying to be together. And now you're going on a road trip? I mean, you guys could literally get a room. Yeah, and I could literally get a fired. Even though their chemistry was palpable to both them and the audience, they did their best to stay apart, because if anyone likes respecting rules, it's Leslie. It's a white flag, and you may as well start waving it right now, Leslie. The only Leslie. thing I will be waving is your decapitated head on a stick in front of your weeping mother! Good lord. The situation was out of their control though, and they ended up kissing while on a road trip together, and then were forced to keep their relationship under wraps, even breaking up before finally deciding to go for it. I miss you like crazy. I think about you all the time. I want to be with you. So let's just say screw it. Before we unveil our sneaky top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You okay? Mm-hmm. She's cutting off. That story about your uncle. Is it true? <sighs> Goodbye, Laura Lai Gilmore. Hey, there's Quinn. Oh, I love how nervous you were, you little goose. <laughs> you were just so sweet together, you know? I'm sure I can find room for two young lovers. Yeah, <laughs> we are lovers together. <laughs> I'd like to know more about you. Yeah. I'd like to know more about you too. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Chandler Bing and Monica Geller, friends. Now enough of us know that we could just tell them we know. Now all the lying and the secrets will finally be over. Or we could not tell them we know and have a little fun of our own. They don't know that we know they know we know. One of our favorite shows of all time also happens to feature the most iconic secret relationship, Monica and Chandler. 
Although there are some flirtations between the two in the earlier seasons, viewers were shocked when they slept together after Ross's wedding in season four. Morning, Ross. I'm getting married today! Yeah, you are! Oh, woo <laughs> you think you knew I was here? <laughs> They opted to keep things a secret from their friends, which ended up being more challenging than they could have expected, but gave us plenty of laughs. Hey, it's me. Coming in. <laughs> the half season where most of the group still doesn't know they're together is one of the best plotlines of the entire series. What are you doing? <laughs> Get off my sister! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.